hello. So this is one of my favorite videos to do. I mean, I like hauls in general, but I always look forward to torrid ones the most. I have a beef with them sometimes over the quality versus the price of the item, which is for the most part, whenever they're having a sale, I will buy stuff from them. But if it's not on sale, I, I don't buy it anymore. So today we're doing a torrid haul based on stuff that I got on sale. I'll give you what the original price is also versus what I paid for it. We're gonna start with something that I don't think is gonna fit me, but I knew that when I got it, which, okay, I'm I'm typically not someone, or for the most part, like ever, except for like at this time, where I'll buy something that's a smaller size where I don't think it'll really fit me. It, it, it might. So this is the gray twill hooded crop jacket. I got this in a Torrid One, which I have never in my life tried because I'm typically a two or three. Um, but the reason I ended up getting this is because it got great reviews. It looked really cute on the model and it looked oversized fit to the point where I was like, all right, it might actually work. So this was normally $55.96 but I paid $28.34, which is still pricier for something on sale that I would get from them. But it's like this really pretty color. It is really lightweight, but it has a hood. I love wearing layers in general. Um, the problem with that becomes when it's like 80 degrees outside like it now is. So I would probably wear this on a more chill day or when it's raining, but the crop didn't look too, too cropped. Ooh, actually, Maybe, like, if I go like that, the arms feel maybe like pulling too much, but when my arms are relaxed, they actually feel fine. I wouldn't really say that my arms are like, have problems fitting in clothes normally. So this is the croppedness of it. And the closures are snaps, like snap button thingies. Okay, yeah, well, yeah once we get to the chest, Maybe if I wear a different bra. I'm wearing a sports bra that's a torrid one that I really like, but I really regret not sizing down in because it's it's definitely not supportive. Okay, so I can technically button it. It's just, it's pulling here. Once it actually gets to my waist, it fits. So this is something that is normally an oversized fit jacket. So yeah, it would technically work. I would wear this open maybe a couple buttons undone. This is actually really cute. I like how lightweight it is. I love the color of it. I've been super into wearing gray. I always say that I want to get into wearing more color, but uh, gray is a color. I mean, you guess to some people who would normally wear black all the time. Let's try it with the hood up. It's a big hood. This is actually like really cute. And the, it's cropped, but it's not like insanely cropped. Yeah. I like this. Well, okay, I this was it was like one of those things where I went back and forth and I was like, is it dumb to buy a one size one thing when I know it won't fit me? But I really want the jacket. It got great reviews. I like jacket options. I don't really have a huge variety of jackets. Okay, this This is in a size two. I had to kind of remind myself what I got. It took a while for it to ship, not too, too long, maybe three or four days. But then once it shipped, I got it the next day, which doesn't really happen to me. Uh, yeah, this is the thing that is probably not weather appropriate, although feeling it, it's a little bit different. This is the super soft black turtleneck tunic tee, but it's a turtleneck that is um, like elbow length sleeve. And I'm, I've talked, I talked about in my recent Old Navy haul why I'm super into elbow length things because Tattoo Magoo. Um, yeah, again, it's tunic, which I'm not uh, overly fond of tunics, but I decided that the model looked beautiful in it and maybe I can look like her. Here we go. Uh, glasses. Oh my gosh, look like Steve Jobs. I like turtlenecks. Ooh, I think, well, and it actually does cover like 90% of my tattoo. This is actually cute. This is cute. Uh, I'm glad I got the two in it. I think I was probably, because 90% of the time I get a, a three. Occasionally I've been sizing down to the two and I think it looked like too big on the model. Yeah, see, two makes I'm kind of weird about, but I think this is cute and you could probably like, 
wrap, like tie it in a knot that way or like tuck it in. But I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Did I already say prices? Probably not. This was normally $26.98, but I paid $12.86 for. And it's one of the tops that I've been actually eyeing for a long time because, I don't know, there's something about the models that Torrid uses where whenever they're wearing something, I'm like, oh my God, that looks great. I'm gonna look exactly like that. Uh, yeah, but I think this is cute. I wasn't expecting it to be this material. It calls it the super soft material, and I will vouch for that. It's very soft. It feels cozy. It actually feels lighter weight than I expected it to be. Um, so this is something that I would probably wear to the office without dying in the heat. Next thing, this is the multi-stripe ribbed high neck crop cami. This is something that looks similar to the thing that I talk about a ton that I love, this is the foxy crop top. I love the neckline of it. It's comfy, it's cute. It's good for if you have something that's super low cut that you need to like wear something underneath it. It's a good crop. Um, so you're not like having something super long underneath, whatever. And it's striped and I haven't talked about my hatred of stripes in a really long time, but I'm apparently uh, getting over that a little bit. Every time I would get like a Dia box or something and there'd be stripes in it, I'd hate it. Um, it's ribbed, which I like ribbed. This I did get in a three. This is in a three and I subsequently got like a gray and a white one in like the two, which I still do really like, but I always end up kind of going back to this one when I'm lounging around because it's a bit looser. So I kind of wanted that fit, although this is ribbed, so two probably would have worked fine too, but same, same neckline. So this is just the striped version. This was normally 25.50. All of our like colored ones are like, they're different prices. And I paid 904 for it, so I knew that I had to get it. All right, uh, the fit is great. I did switch sports bras because I can't remember if I talked about it or not. The one I was wearing is the Torrid long line black sports bra that I had gotten before I had previously showed in some haul. And I love that it's long line, it's great. But I got it in a three, I should have gotten it in a two. I almost bought another one in this kind of haul. But it was like, even on sale, it was like 31 bucks or something like that. And I was just not willing to spend 31 bucks on another one. But I feel like it just isn't as supportive as it used to be. Um, so I switched to my white Old Navy one that I did in my like last haul. And it's weird, like the seeing the stripe, I knew I was getting stripes, but I feel like stripes don't do anything for me, or at least these colors don't. Uh, I'm obviously gonna keep it. I'm still obviously gonna wear it because I live in these crop top thingies. Um, the ribbed material is a bit odd. Like I prefer the plain regular ones actually. I typically love anything ribbed, but it's not scratchy or anything. It just doesn't feel like how I expected it to feel. It's not super soft. So there's that. Still gonna keep it. It's still good. I was actually curious to like retry on this jacket with the different sports bra to see if it made any difference when closing it, just because I'm a little bit more supported now. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a little less pulling. It's mildly better with an actual supported bra, just because my boobs were a little bit lower. Um, with what I was previously wearing. So this is actually, I feel like, a little bit more acceptable. You can still tell, obviously, especially when you see the back of it, that it's um, a size up would have been better if available. There is a little bit of pulling still, but it is actually better like this. But we were done talking about the jacket, but I'm still psyched about that jacket. Final two thingies. Uh, the first one is another crop top because I have a problem. Look, when you live at home 99% of the time now because of quarantine funness, uh, you would just want like the comfortable stuff. So of course I got another foxy crop top, but this one is a little bit different. This is the light pink V-neck crop foxy cami. It's a mouthful. It's basically like the same length as the other ones, but it goes into the V-neck. So we'll see how that is. This was normally $22.50. 
but I paid $7.14 for it. See, I, I'm pretty sure I went through the sale section and any of their like normal foxy crop top things, I was like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Whatever. Okay, this is very basic, very comfy. Just like throw it on and lounge around or wear it under something. This isn't something I would just wear out. I do really like the color. I like the light pink. I don't really have anything this color. Uh, the V is, you can adjust it a little bit to make it as high or low as you want. Uh, I do actually just prefer the neckline of like those other ones that are high up, just because I don't have to worry about like popping out or anything like that. But, I don't know, it's cute. I like that the straps are a little bit thicker than like a spaghetti strap, just for like how it looks. It's not like this has like support or anything but I think this is cute. Okay, and the last thing I got is something that I've been looking at on like other websites for whatever reason. Actually, I know the reason. Uh, I frequently watch Glitter and Lasers. I love her personality. She's actually one of the channels that I first started watching that was like a plus size woman, like her channel, and it really helped boost my self-confidence. So I really recommend like, Probably recommend her videos like she's very authentically herself in them a lot um but anyway she had posted a video of like an amazon haul or something and she had like a cute mesh top and i always thought mesh tops were cute especially oh well, obviously i'd wear like something underneath it um most likely my black foxy thingy but this is just a black mesh top which can be great for the summer. It's obviously very see-through, so you can do as much or as little with that as you want. This I got in a three. It is normally $35.50. No. Yeah, normally $35.50. How much did I pay for this? It's actually not on my invoice. Okay, weird. It's not on the actual invoice like paper thing, but I did check my like email bill and it is on there. So this is normally $35.50, but I ended up paying just under 25 bucks, so like 24 and change for it, which is still expensive for what it is, especially with how like frugal I am. But I wanted it because I had ideas for what I could do with this. Okay, I switched back into my black one and actually probably with this neckline, I wouldn't wear it with this. Like for this one, I wish it was like a V-neck just so you could see a little bit more of the separation and that it is mesh so i don't know we'll see um but this is how it fits it f it has a loose but like it does cling which i'm fine with it's very soft very comfortable i mean it's mesh so i think you'll kind of know how it fits but it ends up coming to like if you pull kind of like pull it down as much as it'll go it does have good length to it like it isn't something that isn't advertised as cropped, but really is. But I like this, it has the crew neck. Like I guess it kind of blends in with this, but this does have like a crew neck neckline. Okay, so that's the final item that I got, but I'm gonna link everything down below that I can find. And if you have any questions, let me know. I am normally, I try to say this in all my videos now, I am normally a 2X or a size 22. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.